Well, didn't finish up today, but it's good to be here in Arkansas. You know, and for a great cause. You know, Mike Anderson and Mar, his wife, are good friends of Donna and Alice. We've competed against the Razorbacks for some time, but whenever you can lend your, your helping hand to, to raise funds for great causes, coaches versus cancer and heart disease and a lot of things that, uh, that you know, Mike Anderson's foundation. Um, and, and have it's a good time to kind of celebrate with the um, with boosters, and fans, and friends that are part of the, the Razorback family. So I'm just happy to be a part of it. And, and anytime you get a chance to play golf, we've had a mm -hmm. you know it was um, you know being in Memphis this past year, we, we got off to a good start and we struggled down the stretch. But but I think we have a good team returning, a good group of kids. We lost some talented players, but I think we're going to be okay. The, the American Athletic Conference we finished fifth in it, and uh, I think we have four teams in postseason play this year, and I think everybody will have, have improved this year. Much like I'm sure Mike Anderson will tell you the same about the SEC. I was in the SEC for 10, 12, yeah, 12 years at Georgia and, and at Kentucky, and, and um, it just gets better. You know, college basketball is in a, is in a good place right now. You know, the popularity of it is, is continuing to grow. Um, you know, it's uh, so, so really excited to still be a part of college sports and college basketball. It's, uh, I've been in, co in coaching now for 44 years. It's taken me a lot of places, Tulsa, Georgia, Kentucky, Minnesota, Texas Tech, uh, Memphis, so a lot of places. I think a lot of Arkansas fans are excited to hear you're interested in renewing the rivalry with Arkansas and Memphis. Yeah, we've talked about it, and Mike and his staff, I'm sure that we can work out dates and stuff. We'll, we'll get that done. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if I'm looking forward to it, but it's a it's a regional game that, you know, and I know in the past we've played, um, you know, haven't competed against the Razorbacks. I know how talented they are. You know, making it to the NCAA last year, losing to the eventual champion in North Carolina, tells you, just tells you what Mike is the, the great job he's done here with the Razorback. The, the, the couple of coaches in Memphis before you, you know, Cal Fire, he didn't want to play Arkansas mm -hmm. or Ole Miss or Tennessee, and you obviously have a relationship with Mike and have faced Arkansas a lot. But what what is it about your deal that makes you want to renew the rivalry? Well, I think uh, you know for fans, and um, I can see why they didn't. You know, it's a, you know, we have a hotbed of of talent there. And uh, certainly, you know, I know when Nolan Richardson was here, he, he did pretty well in recruiting that, that region, especially the Memphis area. And, uh, but, you know, recruiting has changed so much over the last 10 years, five years. So you know, kids are going to be going where they want to go anyway. It's, you know, it's a pretty mobile society now. So I'm not concerned about that. Because you like a home and home. Yeah, that's what we like to do. Yeah. I, I think, you know, we had talked about playing in Little Rock, I guess, and then playing in Memphis or playing here at Bud Walton and then come up. So we like to get a home and home. Yeah, could you see it in a couple of years or when do you think? Yeah, I think so. I think yeah. so. I hope, you know, certainly, you know, what has happened in college basketball, you know, the SEC, there's a Big Ten challenge, Big 12, Big 12 challenge. Yeah, because we played, you know, we played Auburn a couple of years when I was at Texas Tech, you know, and we played other schools. So we played I, Arkansas. Yeah, we played Arkansas yeah. too. We came here last yeah. two years ago. We got yeah. beat in an overtime yeah. game. You're right. You had to bring that up, didn't you? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, it's that's, and that's what we're what you're seeing conferences are doing now. And so now that kind of limits. You take for instance the American Athletic Conference. We just expanded. We just brought in Wichita State. So now we have 18 of the season games. You know what I mean? Versus 16. So it's a big mm -hmm. difference. Yeah. And you, you, you've already brought four teams into Walton, so this would be the fifth different school. If you do it, you, that you're yeah. bringing to favor. What do you think about that? Yeah, I don't like it, but we know we'll do it. <laughs> no, it's a it's a fun arena, fun fun venue. That's what kids come to college to do. They could measure themselves and test themselves against the best. And certainly, you know, Arkansas as a program has, you know, traditionally and historically been a very uh, competitive program year in year out. Getting to the NCAA, or, uh, so so yeah, that's something we're trying to. You know, restore at, uh, at Memphis. You mentioned being a few more guys. You've been in Arkansas the last two days. Just what's it been like catching up with Coach Anderson and, and just the relationship with you? It's been great. It's been great to see some of the former, you know, Mike Calhoun guys that when used to come to, to Nolan Richardson's golf tournament years ago at Tavesta Anderson, 
Uh, so Sidney Moncrief, you know, I, I, so a lot of these guys, some of the guys like Lee Mayberry competed against him, coached against him when he was at, uh, when he was at Arkansas and I was at Tulsa. Uh, yeah, but to see some old faces, you know, familiar faces, friendly faces, um, you know, that, that it does, it, it's reinvigorating. It's, it's, it, it energizes you, makes you go back and better work a lot harder <laughs> to compete against, uh, against these guys.